Hi, it's me, Beard. God love the USA Grills. Long, 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 long lost cousin of that tea drinking, fish and chip munching, faggot limey son of a bitch Beard Grills. Now, I am somewhere in a tree. I'm also somewhere in the Andamar, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, namely Havelock Island, somewhere in the East Indian Ocean. Now, how I got up, up this tree is obvious. I walked up it, just like you walk up any goddamn tree. And how I survived so long is equally clear. I've been staying in a hotel. Now, as we are here, I will give you some survival tips. If you happen to be stuck up a tree for no good reason, then you might need some fluids. Good source of fluids in the trees, coconuts. Coconuts are only found in this tree, then this tree only, and the White House in the United States of America, God bless the USA. Now, you have to crack open the coconut. Luckily for me, I'm just gonna rip the top right off of this one. Ah, I'm so goddamn strong, God bless the USA. Now, you need to drink the fluid inside the coconut. There's a hole in there in the top, just like a vagina. Now, to do so, I used some skills I picked up in the Delta Force. Such skills I learned in the Delta Force are things like talking shit, chest bumping, and killing. So what it is, I killed me one of these barefoot Indians, and I used his intestine to make this straw. So, gonna go ahead, stick my straw, into this here coconut. There we go. There it is. What we got going on now. And drink. <sighs> Whoa. Almost fall out the tree. That would be unbecoming. Go ahead and put this here coconut back. There we go. She's back on there. Now another thing find a tree is biscuits. See up there are some biscuits? You might not think biscuits grow on trees. Well you would be right. Only an a-hole would think such a thing. Biscuits do not grow on trees. Just like my time in the CIA, the greatest intelligence agency on earth, I planted them here five minutes ago. Now, hey my sustenance Are you ready to continue? Good. One thing to know about me is I'm a clean living, clean eating, gun toting citizen of the greatest country on earth, the United States of America. God bless the USA. And then to do so, to keep clean, I have to keep clean. Now, I could have used the facilities at the hotel, but instead, you find Carl in the tree just there. Like that one. They grow in trees. Carl grows in trees. Now, I used up that Carl. I made myself that bath. Okay. Another thing to know about where I am is just 20 or 30 miles from here is the North Sentinel Islands. Now, this island is home to one of nine of the last untouched by Western civilization, unchristianized heathen tribes in the world, Stone Age. A little luck, and I don't care if I wipe out all of them with my infectious western diseases, I'm gonna make it eight. God bless the USA. Just gonna hop down here from the tree. Through a spider's web. Oh. Oh. Two other things to note about me. One, wherever I go, I take a copy of the King James Bible. Keeps you warm in my heart and in my dick. This one I've cunningly disguised as a paperback so that when I plan to invade North Korea, I do not leave there in a coma. The other thing, to go to these islands, and Christianize these heathens, I ain't gonna need a vessel. So, out of sands, I built this boat. Now, she does have a few licks on her, but it's better than those barefoot, inbred yokels come up with. Goddamn, they don't even have boats. Now, 
in case things get a little tasty. Also made myself an arsenal of weaponry. Just here, for those spears. So if any of those barefoot Indians try any shenanigans, well then I'll kill them. I come prepared for peace and war, but hopefully and ultimately war. I'll go ahead and climb my vessel. There we go. Feels like my foot may go through here at any time. So, one last thing I got on board here. Fashion me a little moonshine. Maybe have a drink with these yokels when I get there. And if they don't like to drink, well, I'll kill them anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and succeed with well, the entirety of the British Empire and the country of India have failed for 500 years and convert these assholes into Christianity. I got my Bible, I got my spear, and I got my goddamn moonshine. It's time to set sail. God bless USA, God bless Donald Trump. Hoo-yah!